So which one's moving, the bottom or the top? Bottom. Right? So this so if it's crushing, it's crushing in this direction. Yeah. Right? Safety glasses. We need to distribute safety glasses. I'm putting the shield on. Oh, okay. I'm going to put the glasses on the shield on. But safety, is that a part of your lab? Oh, yeah. Yeah, safety first. Like, so then, is this thing going to explode, or what's going to happen with it? And that decides what the safety requirements are. If it's if it's a hundred MPA concrete, and I don't have the shield on here, it's going to hit that window over there. No, that hundred MPA concrete, four inch diameter, shards will be hitting that window over there for sure. It'll be all over the room. Video okay. So, uh, here we go. This guy here. Oh, no, hold on. Let's put one of those. Uh, let's oh, put one of those head breaks in there first. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? All of them. All of them. I like that. Together. Together. <laughs> Let's see here. Four thousand pounds. Black shield of eight. Yeah. Not flat, by the way, not totally. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, do I have to be that accurate if it's just an indication? No. Was it a zero before? It was. Reset this, Newton's. Uh, put it on the top scale. Last seal done. Engage. Engage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many MPA? How many? Like, how strong is this? I'm going to probably 74. 70 MPA? And we tested iron wood before in class, didn't we, last year? Yeah. Yeah, it was about 70 MPA. But this is this comes from Alf Davis. So, um, uh, where's your, where, where is it from? Southern Ontario? Yeah. 10. 10 <laughs> MPA. <laughs> they're, they're, they're wusses down there. The they're, they're trees, are wusses. Yeah. <laughs> Douglas Burke on the old moral coconut. I've been seeing that work for three years now. I don't know what Douglas Burke looks like. Well, give me a tree, give me a full length tree, and I'll put it in here and test it. Yeah, do it. Douglas fir. Douglas West fir. Coast. <laughs> I'm going to go to the garden. It's like the same boat. The diameter well, is about what that big. Well, 10 feet diameter, yeah. you can drive cars through some. Yeah. Thank God I set it up to the top scale. Why? What would be the difference, Jeff? Would it go slower? It would have chipped out by now. Oh, okay. This, the second scale down is 200,000 new. Oh, okay. Shear? Yeah, it, should it should be failing in shear. It should start to see a shear plane somewhere. I just want to see what the shear plane is. So there's my shear plane. Oh, Richard, see it? Mm-hmm. May the force be with you. Okay. So there's my shear plane. Okay, so there I'm expect well, I'm expecting this, correct? Yeah. I was expecting this angle. Okay. So what is what is Okay, what is the ratio of the areas? Was it 94% yes. or 90%? Okay, this tells me that that I'm going to be about 800,000. Is that not right? Mm -hmm. I should be, with that, that means, that tells me I can test it. That number right there. 
I tested this little one to give me an indication of what the other one should be doing. If this number, if this number here was, let's say, it was five hundred and seventy-five thousand, what would I be telling Alec? I, I'm not testing it. Like I need, I'm using this as an indication of where I'm going with the next one. So it's a, it's the critical thinking stuff is looking at the big picture. Can I even test this stuff? Technologists, you guys in the lab are the ones that are sometimes making these decisions. No, we don't have the capacity in our lab to test it. So. Concrete's the same thing. If somebody gives me this 150 MPa concrete, you can get concrete approaching the strength of steel. You can. 200 MPa. Yes. So then, can you test it? Do you have, or do you have to set it up to CanMet, which is another testing lab, a very high-end one here in town. Okay. So that yes, we can test it. Okay. So, how is this thing going to fail now? Uh, what are we expecting? Sure. Yeah, so this is kind of because it's square, so we see this line, right? So now we've got a round piece of wood, which I've never tested before, which I think this is pretty cool. So then mm -hmm. let's see how this thing, is it going to fail like this? Like, Wouldn't it fail like concrete, a cone? I would think so. So we might just see a line all the way around. That's pushing down, like one cone going up, one cone going down. I don't know, I've never tested this before, so it sounds like kind of fun. So let's, uh, and that huge explosion where I'm not expecting things to fly all over the place, so I'm not worried about the safety issues. Okay, so I'm going to hit raise. Why don't I just put this down here and have this come down to here? Why don't I do that? Slide. What does this plate do? Oh, okay, levels it. Keeps it flush. That means I get so then I don't want this going from here to here because what if what if this surface is not exactly parallel to that? So that's what this thing does. It takes another error into account. Even as a capping thing, if that capping is that capping rig perfectly perpendicular? When the no, it's there could be an error when the, whoever manufactured that capping thing, the jig. There could be an error in that. Even they call, even though they call it a jig, it should be perfectly 90 degrees. Is it 90.000? No, it's not. So again, that's why we have this thing here. So I wouldn't let somebody just put their cylinder here and put their cylinder here. Matt, do they have a do they have um, a swivel plate? You grind your cylinders, though, don't you? But when they grind them, is it perfectly perpendicular to the axis? Well, you set them on there, but Maybe they aren't, right? They get to the point where you grind, them, you grind them until the perfect flush, and then you have to double check them afterwards. But what if... Now you speak. Say something. Okay, because Rich is going, boom, 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 boom. I say something, you say something, I say something. Somebody else say something, Daniel say something. No. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Okay. So we're going to have reset. And delivery for you today. Is this better than foundation design? Yeah. I'm freaking yeah. right. Yeah. It is. We all, we all might just miss out on uh, the 230 class. Yeah. What's, what's this afternoon? Brand. Brand. Uh, ask him to break something. Yeah. <laughs> break soil. What? Oh, something like, yeah. well, yeah. Yeah. back? No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that bounced in the other group. Sounds like the head frame competition as it was settling in, you're like, click, click, click. 
still going up. <laughs> I was actually thinking about making it mandatory for the third years for this course to do the head frame. Third yeah. year. Just, just for this year, though, right? Just for this year, just yeah. For this year, yeah. Right? Especially if your last name is Ingham. Especially. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Now this machine's a little wonky, it's old, it's pre-World War I. Matt, you don't have to adjust your rate, it's all done automatically. It keeps constant. I have to keep jumping this up a little bit. Yeah. So it didn't fail as a cone, it's a sheer plane. Weird. Weird. See how it expanded back out? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. 623 200. <laughs> so it didn't fail as a comb, but did it fail in shear? Yeah. 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 There, there's your failure surface, which we'd expect. Thank you very much for bringing this, by the way, because it's uh <laughs> Wait, let's try it like this. Close up. Different perspective. <laughs> no, wait, no, you stay. You stand there. Don't move. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Oh, Alex, like, oh, I gotta get him on this side. He'd be good as one that prices red girls. Six twenty-three, two hundred. 